here are the some important boiler terms which we need to understand before we go for the discussion of uh, different types of boilers so let us start with one by one shell the shell of a boiler consists of one or more steel plates bent into a cylindrical form and riveted or welded together the shell ends are closed with the end plates settings the primary function of setting is to confine heat to the boiler and form a passage for gases it is made of brickwork and uh, may from the wall of the furnace and the combustion chamber it also provides a support in some type of boilers then grate it is the platform in the furnace upon which fuel is burnt and it is made of cast iron bars the bars are so arranged that air may pass on to the fuel for combustion furnace it is a chamber formed by the space above the grate and below the boiler shell in which combustion takes place it is also called fire box water space and steam space the volume of the shell that is occupied by the water is termed as water space while the entire shell volume less than water a tube space is called steam space boiler mountings the items such as stop wall safety valve water level gauge fusible plug blow off cock pressure gauge water level indicator etc are termed as boiler mountings and a boiler cannot run or boiler cannot work safely without them without the mountings a boiler can never work safely and boiler accessories the items such as superheaters economizers feed pumps etc are termed as accessories and they form integral part of the boiler they increase the efficiency of the boiler see without mountings boiler cannot run but without accessories we can run the boiler but efficiency we cannot maintain so in order to boost up the efficiency we need to use accessories in order to have safe maintenance we need to have mountings both boiler mountings and boiler accessories will constitute a efficient boiler water level the level at which water stands in the boiler is called water level the space above the water level is called steam space then foaming foaming is the formation of steam bubble on the surface of boiler water due to high surface tension of the water scale the name itself will suggest you a deposit of medium to extreme hardness occurring on water heating surface of a boiler because of an undesirable condition in the boiler water if boiler water conditions some dissolved particles or undesirable particles those particles will deposit on the tubes of the boiler so that deposition we will call it as scale formation blowing off the removal of the mud and other impurities of water from the lowest part of the boiler where usually where in the at the lowest part it will usually settle is termed as blowing off i repeat blowing is or blowing off is the removal of the mud and other impurities of water from the lowest part of the boiler is termed as blowing off this is accomplished with the help of blow off cock or valve then lagging blocks of asbestos or magnesia insulation wrapped on the outside of boiler shell or steam piping this is called lagging so why we need to have lagging is in order to reduce the leakage of heat from the boiler or leakage of heat from the steam tube we need to lag the tube with asbestos or magnesia insulation these asbestos or magnesia insulation are nothing but these two are having very low 
thermal conductance or heat transfer capacities are very less because these two are insulation they are very poor in conducting the heat then refractory heat insulation material such as fire book, plastic fiber play i mean fire play used for such purposes as lining combustion chambers again refractory is materials which we will use to prevent the heat leakage from the boiler or combustion chamber